Sometimes, using that same base multiplier form of the equation, rather than finding out the value of y or finding out the starting value, sometimes we want to find out how many times we've multiplied. That is, we want to find the value of x. Let's see an example of that. Suppose the population of a small town increases rapidly after oil is struck nearby. From its starting population of 200, the population triples each month until it reaches 48,600. How many months did that take? So we know our variables, our dependent, our dependent variable is the population, and our independent variable is the time in months. Again, the dependent variable acts like y, and the independent variable acts like x. We know that the starting population was 200. We know that every month the population triples. That means multiplies by 3. And we want to know the time that goes with population 48,600. In our equation, we get 48,600 equals 200 times 3 to the teeth power. How can we solve that equation? Notice this t isn't multiplied by anything. It's not added to anything. t is in the exponent. One way we can solve this is just by making the table and seeing when p gets to 48,600. So when t is 0, p is 200. And then every time t goes up by 1, we'll take p times 3. So after one month, the population is 600. After 2, the population is 1,800. After 3, the population is 5,400. After 4, the population is 16,200. After 5, the population is 48,600. There it is. Our answer is 5 months. We could also use our calculators table feature, putting our variable in as x and having the output in y1. And having the output in y1, we could say 200 times 3 to the x. Look at the table. And here we see y1 is 48,600 when x is 5. This table in the calculator is the same as the table that we made on paper. OK, so that works just fine when our answer is a small whole number. What if our answer is really big? Or what if our answer is a fraction? Suppose we have a radioactive material that decays so that after one year, 97% of the sample remains. Um, it's a fact about physics that radioactive materials do decay exponentially. If 300 grams of the material are produced, how many years will it take for one gram to remain? So our dependent variable is going to be m, the amount of the material. That'll act like y. Our independent variable will be t, the time in years. That's going to act like x. 
notice it says 97% of the sample, so 97% of the material. That 97% is going to give us our multiplier. We start with 300 grams. We want to end with 1 gram. Our multiplier is 0.97, and we don't know our t. Our equation is going to be 1 equals 300 times 0.97 to the t. Um, I'm going to go straight to the table in our calculator. We'll say 300 times 0.97 to the x. Look at the table. And I see that y seems to be getting smaller pretty slowly. I'm going to have to scroll down a long way in order to get all the way down to y is 1. And even after that, I want to get to one decimal place. I'm going to use the intersect feature on my calculator. First, I put y1 is 300 times 0.97 to the x. And now I'm going to put in y2 is just 1. What I want to do is find out where 300 times 0.97 to the x is equal to 1. And now I'm going to guess an x min and an x max. It's certainly going to be positive. In fact, I think it's going to be more than 10 years. More than 10 years, less than 50 years, as my first guess. Now I'm going to use zoom fit. So I'm looking at this graph, and I see, so here's my horizontal line at y equals 1. And here's my curve, and I don't see them cross. What that tells me is that my guess was too small, since they get closer to the right. So I go back up here and try a new guess. 10 to 50 was too small. Let's try 50 to 100. 50 to 100 was still too small, but we see they're getting closer. Let's try 100 to 200. Okay, that looks like they cross. Okay, so I'm going to go to Calc and choose Intersect. I can just hit Enter three times. Ah, and it tells me the intersection is about where x is 187.3. Okay, so what does that give me in answer to my question? 187.3 years. So again, if we want to find the exponent, we have two options. We can make a table and use trial and error. Or we can use the intersect feature on the calculator.